it's really a new way of practicing medicine and it's freeing, it reinvigorates you, it allows you to see the world, allows you to see different locations and you are in charge. You go back from being a victim back to a being a victor and that's why I like it. You have freedom, you have free time, you have flexibility, you have higher income and career fulfillment. So why not try it? What if you could reclaim hours of free time each week, create legacy building wealth, and devote more energy to your passion projects without giving up on your career as a life-saving MD? Dr. Vikram Raya is a functional cardiologist, high-performance coach, and real estate expert, is here to give you the tools, strategies, and solutions you need to transform your life, unlock your limitless potential, and achieve greatness, all while freeing up your precious time. Welcome to Limitless MD. Let's dive in. So guys, so many people talk to me about freedom, freedom, freedom. So let's get into it. Let's actually help you achieve location freedom and time freedom right now. So one of the most powerful things as a physician you can do is do something called locum tenens. The current situation most physicians face is they're stuck in a physical clinic, they're stuck in a hospital, and they're abiding by other people's schedules and times, and it's interfering with their personal life and their professional life. It's reducing their ability to travel, uh, to schedule events, tra uh, trips, passions, races, whatever else they want to do. And so I want to really break down how locum tenens can give you the location and time freedom you want so you can still practice medicine, but it's on your terms. Let's go. So initially in the history of locum tenens, which was started in the 1970s, it was felt that this is a solution for people who are lower quality physicians. And it got a bad rap. And maybe physicians who are at the end of their rope, end of their tenure, right? But truthfully, it's really a new way of practicing medicine and it's freeing, it re reinvigorates you, it allows you to see the world, allows you to see different locations and you are in charge. You go back from being a victim back to a being a victor and that's why I like it. You have freedom, you have free time, you have flexibility, you have higher income and career fulfillment. So why not try it? The word locum tenens initially means, you know, essentially holding the place of. So you're a physician, maybe the physician's on a extended vacation, you're taking their place, or there's a shortage of physicians in a location and you're filling in the gap. And so that's where it initially came from. And But it is really becoming one of the most powerful things you can do as a physician to sort of jumpstart, reignite, or extend your medical career. So there are three types of doctors who do locum tenens work. One is new graduates. You know, they want to test out different locations. They want to think about, do they want to work in the hospital? They want to work in a clinic and it's without risk because you can go there and sort of experiment, test drive for three months, six months, even a year. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, when I finished cardiology fellowship, my first job was a locum tenens position. It was amazing. I got to work in the uh, island of Hawaii. Uh, my, I was recently married. I had a young one and I chose to do a four month locum position in Hawaii. And it was absolutely amazing. It was one of the best times I ever had. They paid me essentially a year four salary in my first, you know, month of becoming an attending. Uh, they provided me a car. They provided me a luxury condo in the middle of Waikiki. Um, I was working, you know, reasonable hours. And the cool thing was like, um, you know, I was working on Honolulu, Oahu, and on Wednesdays, they needed me to go to the big island to run a pacemaker clinic. So they paid for my flight in the morning to go on Hawaiian Airlines, and I had to go hang out and run this cool clinic um, on, you know, Kona or Hilo, depending on which, which week it was. And then I got to come back that e afternoon or evening. That was my commute. And it was one of the best times my wife was, who's a rheumatologist, was taking her time off. She was spending time with the baby. She was walking on the beaches. On the weekends, we go to the, you know, the farmer's market, which is very famous Oahu. We hang out with friends or family who are visiting. I got paid well. I was respected by my, my patients. And I had to pinch myself, hey, why am I going back to the mainland again? But anyway, it was just a remarkable experience. And so I highly recommend things like this. Uh, some of my coaching clients, you know, after they've been beat up by the hospitals and 
pushed down by their clinics and, and by the private practices, they've started exploring locums. And what they've noticed is, uh, man, they're able to achieve, you know, a year five or year six salary in year one. They're able to, a lot of them are doing things on the side. They're doing side hustle, for example. They're, some One of them has a short-term rental uh, they've launched. And now he has so much more free time during his cardiology shifts that he's able to work on all this and he's getting paid for it. But yeah, oh, but you're spending time away from your family. That is true. But the cool thing is like when you're away, you're away and you're you're hopefully highly productive, but you can set it to where maybe you work one week on, two weeks off, or one week on, one week off. And that week off, you're really there at home, present, fully engaged with your family. So it is a little bit of a change, a little bit of a sacrifice, if you will, but think about the exchange, think about the outcomes. Now, moving down, I talked about new graduates. I talked about sort of the, the people who are coming out of practice that are doing this. I've even given you my own experience. Let's get into the second one, which is a mid-career physician. This is someone who's probably wanting to achieve an additional amount of income. They want to maybe cut back on their regular practice. They want to explore what else is out there. And maybe they're burnt out and this gives them a, a reinvigoration of their medical practice. So that's another type of physician. Um, and Or maybe it's someone who, who has some extra expenses and they just want to augment it. They want to pay down debt. So that's the mid-career physician. And finally, we know the late-career physician. These people are looking for a change of pace. Maybe they're transitioning from the day-to-day. They're transitioning from their private practice to maybe one day retiring. And this is a nice way of doing it where they can practice maybe you know a third of the time. And, and maybe this they do some of locum tenens work. They do some medical missions. So they're still in medicine, but it's completely on their own terms. And the fulfillment and the joy they're receiving is unparalleled. So the tax benefits. Well, the tax benefits are, you know, normally as a physician, you're a W-2 earner and there's not much you can write off. But as a 1099, uh, normally is, as an independent contractor for locums, you have some more flexibility. You can write off travel, business meals, lodging, home office, professional clothes, etc. So some of the advantages are really, you know, you're being your own person. You can negotiate directly with these hospitals or clinics, if you know them, or with an agency, you need to find out whether there's an ongoing need or a demand, or is this a one-time thing. And people ask me, hey, what is the kind of pay you could expect, right? Um, the pay could be between 1.5 to 3x your normal salary. So it's very lucrative. And, you know, they're asking, hey, where can these be? Sometimes they're in your local area, but sometimes there are in rural locations because that's where the need is, right? You're doing geographic arbitrage of your skill set to get the highest income for your tie. But when you're away and you're doing these things, there's a lot of downtime because they're usually not as busy as uh, an inner city or a metropolitan center. And so you have time to hike, to time to pursue your passions, read books, do side hustles, hobbies, you know, you know, musical instruments, whatever it is that you're interested in doing. And if you can get, if you can sort of mitigate the issues of being time away from your family and things like that, this is really a powerful option. So what are the other challenges uh, with locums? Well, when you go to a new location, you have, if you're a proceduralist, there may be new instruments, new things in like the operating room or in your procedure room that you're not used to. There may be new challenges with staff, new patients, um, perhaps a new standard of care. So just things to, to be aware of. Another powerful thing is you can do this internationally. The Middle East, Abu Dhabi, Dubai has option optionality for locum tenants. Australia and, and parts of Europe are available for all of this. So, and I mentioned my experiences in islands such as Hawaii or in uh, the, the Virgin Islands. There are there are opportunities here, Turks and Caicos. So, just start exploring this. See if this is an option, and just realize that you know this could be the key to unlock that thing that you're looking for, which is time and geographic freedom. Guys, until next time, keep being phenomenal. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Limitless MD. If you found value from this episode, I encourage you to share this episode with a friend and let me know by leaving a review. For more information, make sure you check out the links in the show notes below or simply visit VikramRaya.com. Until next time, be phenomenal. Be phenomenal.